Hey YouTube, what's up? Just a quick update on my MAME project. I got my RAM upgrades in the mail today, 2 gigabytes. Installed it in the computer and it installed just fine. So what that means is I got a chance to mess around with the front end for MAME. Uh, if you don't know what a front end is, when you just start MAME like normal, let's see if we can find it here. Uh, it comes up in this really kind of plain looking menu. Um, that's fine if you're just kind of running it on your normal computer and you're not dedicating a whole machine to this. But uh, for a lot of people who want to make a actual, you know, arcade machine, uh, this doesn't really cut it. So what they like to do is use front ends, and basically it just makes it look really nice. So the one I'm using is called Hyperspin. Uh, in my opinion, it's the best looking and it's the most customizable. It really, really looks nice. Uh, it can be kind of demanding at the computer, but you can always turn some of the advanced settings off and you know. Uh, kind of figure out what you need and what you don't need and once you trim it down to what you really do need you can still make it look really nice and have it run on a relatively cheap computer mine's a 2.4 gigahertz Pentium 4 processor and is 2 gigabytes of RAM uh, which is the RAM is what I heard was recommended I saw people you know using dual cores online for this but that was a little much so uh, but it runs fine on my machine so let's go ahead and load it up just to show you what it looks like and eventually I will have it boot right when I turn the power on. I'm going to have it bypass Windows and have it do everything like that. So as you can see, this is pretty pretty attractive in my opinion. Uh, that's kind of the main draw of Hyperspin are these themes right here. And you download them off their website. And there's another website that they work in conjunction with called emumovies.com. And uh, you can download these little video previews and they show for your game. Uh, I only have two themes and videos currently, Mortal Kombat and Donkey Kong. So you see the video loads up. And remember again, I don't have speakers yet, but there is sound. I plugged in headphones and they work just fine and they sound great. Um, so yeah, just a nice looking front end. Let's go ahead and load up Mortal Kombat. And just loads up like it would in MAME. And it starts. So that's just to make your arcade a little better looking. And if you want to quit, you just press escape. It goes back to the main menu. Now you can have it work with other emulators, pretty much any system you could ever think of. Uh, this offers emulation support for it. And if you did want those, it'd be another main menu on top where you pick your system, and then you go in your system and it picks the individual games. But since I'm only running MAME, I just had it boot directly to MAME and just skip that menu. So, uh, just fooling around with this. I might download some more themes and movies tonight just to see, you know, how it looks. But so far, so good. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about this project. Hopefully, I should get the actual materials for the physical cabinet. Uh, hopefully, within the next two weeks. I get paid this week, but uh, depending on bills and all that, I might have to wait till the next paycheck, which would be in the middle of next month, to get it. So, we'll see. I'll let you guys know. But uh, I'm going to play around with this a little tonight. Just figured I'd give you a little preview of what my cabinet, uh, the, at least the menu, will look like. So for now, Nate Crit321, signing out.